and June empties. So for 10 days at the end of May and um, at the beginning of June, we were on an Alaskan cruise and then spent um, the weekend in Seattle. So I did use up some products on that trip. I did not bring them home with me because I'm not into bringing trash you know, home with me. Um, but the products that I used up, I um, took pictures of so I could remember, was a Crest um, travel size um, toothpaste. We've used full sizes of that. I've used um, travel sizes before. It's a good toothpaste. We used up a Scope mouthwash. A, an Aveda Stress Fix body lotion. It was a travel size. It was really nice, um, thick and kind of creamy and moisturizing. And then I used up a foil packet of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. That was okay. It's not my favorite primer. I think I only even used it once and then just threw it away because I didn't want to take it with me. Um, so it's not my favorite, but it seems to be like the only primer that people give out in foil packets from like online orders. And then um, I used a travel size of the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. That's just a nice cleanser to take with you on a vacation or a trip because it is travel size and um, it doesn't break you out and, you know, cleanses your skin pretty well. And then um, I did use up an Ultra Repair Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. We've used, um, Abby and I have used full sizes of that as well as travel sizes. So that's a nice found, uh, foundation uh, moisturizer. And then I used up a travel size of the Kula Matte Tint um, SPF. It had SPF 30 in it. It was really nice. It was definitely very matte, kind of silicone-y, so it kind of filled in your pores a little bit as well, which um, I appreciated. It wasn't enough, like, tint of um, a tinted product to, like, be like I didn't need any concealer or anything at all. Um, but some days that I, I would just wear that if we were just kind of hanging out on the boat or doing an excursion that I didn't need to wear, you know, a lot of makeup. So I did use up those. And then I used up a travel size of the Josh Rosebrook, um, I, oh, what can I, how can I say this? <laughs> Hydrating Accelerator. It's a very herbally scented mist and it, it is a facial mist. I think the travel size, which is two fluid ounces is $16. Um, I got mine in a Beauty Hero subscription box. It was really, really nice. And I would definitely buy a full size or another travel size um, when I run out of other facial mists that I have. It was very nourishing, um, hydrating as it, the title um, indicates. And um, it is kind of expensive, but it's probably the same price as like a, um, you know, Urban Decay or a Scandinavia or is that what it's called? Skin, Scandinavia um, setting spray. So I did enjoy that. And those are the products I used up on our trip. So with that being said, I do have products that I've used up since being home. Um, we used up a lot of masks. Masks. So <laughs> I'm having trouble speaking today. Um, Abby used a Yes to Cucumbers Soothing um, Calming Paper Mask. I think she she did enjoy this. Um, I put this on her after she did like a detoxifying mask, um, like a clay mask beforehand. So her skin kind of was able to be calmed down from like the redness that was caused by that mask. These are $2.50 at Walmart, which I think is a really good deal for a facial mask. I used the yes to, um, Grapefruit Brightening Vitamin C Glow Boosting Paper Mask. So this definitely tingled um, on my skin, but it was a nice tingle. It wasn't overwhelming where I was like, okay, I can't last the full 10 minutes that it says to keep it on your face. I don't know how glowy and, you know, brightening my skin was after using this. But again, $2.50 at uh, Walmart and, you know... I felt like it was definitely doing something because I felt the tingling sensation. I do have another one of these in um, my skincare drawer, so I'll get to use that one more time. And then Abby used a Yes to Cotton Ultra Sensitive Allergy Prone Skin Comforting Paper Mask, and this has like cotton um, extract and cotton seed oil in it. And she enjoyed this as well. So we did all these masks because she had, like I mentioned in a previous video, she had surgery and we were kind of stuck in home for, at home for a while. So I did a couple of spa, night, spa nights to um, help her feel better. And then Abby did on one of the spa nights, um, the Changing Magic Foot Peeling Shoes by Tony Moly. I think these are six or seven dollars. I have one as well, but I haven't done it yet. But um, 
I had Abby do one the other night. So we don't, we haven't seen the effects of it yet because it's supposed to start peeling within a week. And she did it like two or three nights ago. So no peeling yet. Um, but they're like these little booties that you put on and kind of tape around your um, feet. And then it, um, you know, you wash it off in the bathtub. And then within a week, you're supposed to notice peeling of your skin. And then in two weeks, you'll see the results of this product. So I'll kind of um, check back on this um, for y'all if you're interested in, in um, knowing how those work. I'm interested to see if they work as well. And then I used a Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. This was like a grayish color and then it almost was like minty. I guess it's it has zinc and copper in it. I don't know. It was like a minty tingle. It wasn't like a tingling like the vitamin C or like an acid exfoliation. It was just more like a fresh tingling on my skin. And it like dried down and you could see every pore, every blackhead. It was so crazy. And I still have a couple of breakouts um, after using this, but I felt like it did kind of purify my um, pores a little bit and it definitely was mattifying. Like after I washed my face, my um, after using this, it was completely matte. Like, you know, there was not any oil on my face at all. So definitely does that. I have another sample of that as well. So I'll give it a tr another try. And then two more uh, foil packets are the Verb Enrich and Restore Softening um, Hydrating Conditioner and Shampoo. I loved this stuff. I had placed another order with Sephora and I wanted, they had these as a sample again and I wanted it, but they, when I got my package, it wasn't in my box, so it must have been kind of like a sold out sample. But this, I felt like I didn't even have to brush my hair after um, washing and conditioning my hair because there were like no tangles at all and it was very hydrating it smelled really nicely i can't really remember what the actual smell was but i remember it smelling nice and they sell this um, brand verb on sephora's website and in stores um, i'm not sure how much a full size is but i really enjoyed it so i would like to try another sample or maybe a travel size and then kind of see how my hair reacts after because i only got like two uses out of those packets so um, another hair care item is the conditioner of the Nioxin Scalp Recovery for Dry Itchy Scalp. This worked really, really well for um, my, I had like some dandruff, really itchy type um, scalp issues. I guess it was probably like late winter. And um, I would use this maybe twice a week to help kind of condition my hair. And I had the shampoo with it as well. And it really helped and got rid of my um, dandruff for sure. It's a little bit on the pricier side at Ulta, but sometimes they have sales. So I would get this again if I had that issue come up, um, you know, another time. And then I finally used this up. I was like, I ended up like shaving my legs and my armpits with this because I just wanted to be done with this product. Um, I loved it. I had tried a deluxe size sample and loved it and bought the full size. But after kind of, I have a lot of different cleansers and being a Beauty Hero subscriber, I've gotten several cleansers and masks and that sort of thing. And I'm just, my skincare has kind of transitioned into something else than what it was when I had initially bought this product. And it's the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap Oily Skin Formula. It's definitely a foaming cleanser. I, I mean, it cleanses well. It definitely washes off your makeup if you use it as like a first cleanse. Um, I actually put this in my shower, like I said, using it for, you know, shaving purposes. And then when I needed just like a mild, you know, facial soap in the shower, I would use this. But um, it had been in my shower since like before Christmas because I just was trying to get through it. Um, I would not repurchase it right now, um, but it's moderately priced and it's for a combination to... Um, oily skin types. A couple of, I went through a lot of skincare. Um, one skincare product I went through is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I believe they have different packaging now. This is like 40 or $50 at Sephora. I had tried a sample of this and enjoyed it, so got the full size. And this lasted a long time. Um, yeah, it says six months expiration. I think it probably lasted around six months, maybe a little bit longer. But it there might be like one more use in there, but um, I'm calling it quits. 
Um, I want something a little bit stronger of a vitamin C serum. So I got a sample, like a deluxe size sample of the um, Drunk Elephant one. The smell of that is sick sickly. I just hate the smell of the Drunk Elephant C Firma serum, but I'm going to use it up because I paid $23 for that and then the B Hydra, it was like a kit at Sephora. So just because of the smell alone, I'm not going to purchase a full size of that and I really haven't seen any like major effects to it, but this was nice. It actually, I could use this and not need a moisturizer after it. With the Drunk Elephant one, I have to moisturize after. It's a little bit dry, more drying than this. So... Um, but it's supposed to be vitamin C, complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. So if I don't find something else um, to try, I might get this again as a vitamin C um, serum. Because it was really nice and it's actually pretty well priced um, considering how expensive vitamin C serums seem to be on the market nowadays. Then I used up my beloved um, SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I've gone through four or five of these I think. I always get them in the kit with the mask and then the clearing lotion because it um, is you know better for the budget I guess because it's an expensive product. I love this stuff. It moisturizes. I feel like I don't know it, it's literally I think just like water but it has Patera in it which they use to make um, sake the alcohol the Japanese alcohol and I don't know, it's supposed to like help with aging and moisturization and that sort of thing. I don't really know like what it did, but I just felt like my skin looked so much better. Brighter, more moisturized, more even. Um, I felt like, you know, I typically had before using this product for about, I guess I've been using it for about two years. Um, you know, my skin became more normal as opposed to the oily combo that I was experiencing beforehand. So I do love this product. I got kind of like a dupe of this because I just at the time didn't have the money to spend on getting, um, you know, this actual one. Um, I'm going to use up the dupe. I think it's like, I can never say the name, but it starts with a J. And I got it on, I think, Sephora's website too, but it's like half the price. So I'm going to use that up and then I might actually go back to this because it's just so good. It's, I mean, it's literally worth the money, even though it's so expensive. Um, two products I used up for the um, U6 by Summer uh, Project Pan. It was all skincare. I'll link that video down below if you want a full review. But I used up the Rin Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask and the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Overnight Mask. So those are featured in that um, uh, video. Another skincare item that I loved is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. This comes in a jar as a full size and it's around $55 I think at Sephora. I got this sample size in a Sephora Play and this is so nice. It moisturizes, it has that hyaluronic acid, it's very light so even though it's providing a lot of like hydration to your skin, it's not overwhelming and too much. Um, so I, you know, use this all, I guess like the month of May and most of June and I loved it and I put this on my loves list, but you know, $50 is kind of a lot, but, um, the jar would probably last a long time. So I loved that for sure. And then the last skincare item, I'm sad to see this one go, is a tiny, um, there's three mLs in here of a little stopper from the Uma Oils Total Rejuvenating um, Night Facial Oil. I got a trial set of like five or six oils of this size, all different uh, ranges like anti-aging, brightening, clarifying, and then the night oil from Uma via the Beauty Heroes um, website. And it's $70 for these, but these I mean, like, I think the Total Rejuvenation Night Oil in the um, full size is like $125 to $150, and a little bit goes a long way. I would actually use like one or two drops mixed in with like the cloud cream or mixed in with my nighttime moisturizer um, to get the most bang for my buck. Um, you can use it on its own or mixed in with, um, you know, moisturizer or other oils. So I really did like this. I'm not going to purchase a full size, but I would purchase the sample kit again because I thought you got a lot for the, your money considering how expensive those products are. 
Um, and then I we used up, Abby and I used up the um, Degree Men's Body Heat Activated Cool Rush Antiperspirant. We've gone through so many of these. I bought like a value pack at Sam's Club because we use, this is our deodorant that we like. Um, I don't know. I just like men's deodorant. I think it works better. I think it lasts longer and I don't feel like I have like body odor when using this. I did use up on my own the Dove Advanced Care Beauty Finish um, 48 hour antiperspirant. This was okay. I kind of layered this. I would layer the La Vanilla um, grapefruit because um, deodorant um, first and then I would put this on top because the La Vanilla does not last on me. Like I can start smelling myself after a few hours. So I thought well maybe I'll put the natural one on first and then layer it with the you know antiperspirant one to help. it. It did help in like the winter months and the cooler months, but once we started getting um, into the hotter months, I had to switch back to the degree because I just, my body cannot do natural deodorants um, with non-antiperspirant products in it in the summertime. I just, I'm a stinky person, I guess. I just can't do it, so it is what it is. Um, and then a few other products. I used up a... I think Abby got these for me on Amazon at uh, Christmas time. It's Beauty by Earth, and it came in a four-pack um, chapsticks. And this is in vanilla bean. I used this morning and night to moisturize my lips. It was nice. I have a couple of others to use up. A really gross, stingy beauty blender. Um, yeah, it's a beauty blender. This lasted probably from December to through my trip um, to Alaska. And then once we got home, I... Um, kind of put this in my empties bin and I'm using a new beauty blender um, and then lastly three mascaras all of these well two of these are samples like deluxe sizes this one I'm just throwing out because it's it's crap like it's the worst mascara ever and I don't know if I got a dud or what but it's the NYX skinny mascara and I got it for like bottom you know lashes but uh, it's I mean, you can't even see the bristles. It is so tiny, so skinny, as the name would indicate. However, the formula is so dry, I couldn't even get mascara onto my lashes for it to be to be noticeable. Like, there was no product transferring from the wand to my lashes. And, I mean, there's definitely product in there. I used it maybe a handful of times. I was like, this is not even worth it. I'm throwing it in the trash. It's sucks <laughs> just sucks so that was a complete waste of money but these um, deluxe size um, mascaras I actually liked a lot this one is the blink uh, mascara amplified I got both of these in a um, Sephora play box this is one of those um, like fiber tubing mascaras um, it was really nice um, I liked the big you know natural fiber wand Coated my lashes nicely, didn't smudge, um, and you need to take, use water to take it off. Well, the only downside to this is when I take it off with, you know, water when I'm washing my face at night, first of all, you get like these little lashes or lash tubes in your sink and it kind of is gross. And then it would, if I didn't wash them all away right away, it would really irritate my eyes. So. It wasn't to the point where I wouldn't use this, but I wouldn't buy a full size because of that. And it was just a little bit extra work to remove it um, than just normal mascara to me. And then the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I liked this one a lot. Um, it kind of has um, a similar wand to the Blink, just not as um, long. And it definitely, like it says, smoky lash. I mean, it gave you know, it really um, volumized at the root. Didn't lengthen too much, but it gave kind of like a really intense look on my lashes. Um, so it looked like I definitely was wearing mascara. And I did like this um, mascara. So yeah, those are my empties <laughs> for the month of June. Hopefully you enjoy these types of videos. I 
you know, they're a little bit longer. I'm hitting almost the 20 minute mark here, but I like to give um, reviews on the products that I've used up because I think that's the best indicator of what people enjoy or don't enjoy when you've gotten to the end of a product. So if you enjoy empties videos, please give this video a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to see more content from me and I will see you in my next video. Take care.